Hey, my good friend, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. We have just test driven the all new 2023 Acura Integra. So we've got it here in the garage. We're gonna do a full underhood tour outlining all the major technical components as well as the do-it-yourself service points. The 2023 Acura Integra features the exact same engine you'll find under the hood of the contemporary Honda Civic Si. A turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder producing 200 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 192 pound feet of torque from 1,800 to 5,000 RPM. Here, it has an Acura badge on top of the valve cover instead of a Honda one. With premium fuel and a six speed manual transmission as our tester had, it's rated at 26 miles to the gallon city, 36 highway, and 30 miles to the gallon combined. The engine features an upgraded turbocharger bolted to an aluminum head featuring an integrated 4-2 exhaust manifold. The engine features Honda's well-known VTEC variable timing, direct fuel injection, and a base compression ratio of 10.3 to 1. The aluminum engine block and structure, as well as its internal rotating components, are significantly upgraded for more strength, rigidity, and reduction of noise, vibration, and harshness over previous generations. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the front of the engine compartment at a snorkel, which leads to a compact air filter box on the driver's side. From there, it travels across the engine bay into the turbocharger, clearly seen at the front of the engine. From there, it travels down below to an air-to-air -air intercooler mounted below the bumper. After cooling, the intake charge comes back up to the throttle body and composite intake manifold at the top rear of the engine. With 17.8 PSI of max boost, the air is mixed in the combustion chambers with fuel via direct injection. Most of the fuel system is hidden underneath the valve cover, but the four spark plug coil packs are clearly seen and accessible at the top of the engine. Exhaust then exits at the front of the engine into the turbocharger and is managed by an electronically controlled wastegate before it going directly into the catalyst. Doing your own maintenance, as well as with most Honda Acura vehicles, is very much straightforward. Windshield washer fluid is at the passenger side fender well near the strut tower. The oil filler cap is found at the top of the engine and the oil level dipstick just ahead of it notable with a bright orange handle. The white plastic coolant reservoir is found but not so clearly marked at the front passenger side of the engine compartment. Checking the brake fluid is done at the driver side firewall at the reservoir clearly seen and accessible. To the right of it is the 12 volt battery. The main fuse panel is found at the driver's side fender well just ahead of the battery and to the side of it, the main engine ECU. Changing the air filter is easily done at the front driver's side of the engine bay by simply removing a few clips. No tools required. All right, there you go for the underhood tour, the all new 2023 Acura Integra. Now, if you have a Honda Civic Si, it's identical under the hood. Really, the only difference being the emblem on the engine. It's that simple and it is simple. For all the extra tech that we have these days, this is a car that's still just as easy to work on as it's ever been. It just is. So if you want to see the test drive of the Acura Integra, you can see that right there. Better yet, subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. Either way, stay tuned.